Hey guys, so <clears throat> welcome to my pre-morning makeup routine, um, or pre, pre-makeup routine. Yeah, I know, I got hair clips holding up my sleeves here so that it doesn't like fall, the sleeves don't fall into the water. So I'm gonna wash my face, actually, do warm water. And I woke up this morning with one zip right here, so I'm gonna actually do a small detox just on this area right here. Well, I do both sides of my, maybe I'll do like my chin area only because that is where um, my breakout is occurring. So I'm going to wait for that to warm up. While that's warming up, I'm going to get my bangs out of my face and make sure that they stay there. There we go. All right. So my hair is a bit of a mess. I haven't done anything with my hair yet, so oh, that's hot. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Should be good. Yep, yeah, okay. That's better. Hey, Chrissy! So I'm gonna wash my face with my moisture boosting gentle cleanser. Like I said, I have dry skin. And I don't like it at all. But, cool water over there. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna get my face wet so I can wash my face real quick. Ah. So I use my moisture boosting gentle cleanser in the morning because I have dry skin and I don't want my skin to be all dry and flaky when I wear makeup. So this is my thing that I do. Plus it kind of helps wake me up, so. somebody's outside. All right, so I'm going to pat dry most of my face, except for my chin, which is where I'm going to be doing the mask. That's another thing, too. Um, when doing the mask, it helps if the skin is a little damp. Not necessarily wet, but a little damp. Just helps. So I'm putting all my focus into my main breakout area, which is all along here. Nice. And we'll go ahead and detox this again. Just to make sure I got all that stuff out of it. And we'll do that again too. Alright. So now I have my detox mask and my main focus points. So wait about five minutes so when it hits 10 minutes on my end, I will rinse it off. Go ahead and rinse off my applicator. should do before going to the store is write out a list that way I'm not you know putting things in my cart that aren't necessary and since I've been doing a lot of you know lip type stuff I'm going to use 
a lip exfoliator to kind of moisturize my lips. So this is made of shea butter and sugar. Go ahead and use my finger. Make sure I'm getting everything. I'm going to let that just sit there for a minute. Okay. I'm going to off. Alright, so I'm going to start with removing the lip. But my lips are nice and smooth now, so yay! Okay. Now my lips are nice and smooth and moisturized and happy with me. I'm going to go ahead and start removing now. Because that was the size of the, uh, the new uh, bit that was there. I'm like working around it. Well, the white head part of it is gone, so I can only imagine what that means. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that I remove all of the mask. This is my hard too, because it's my chin, is not it? Okay. So I'm gonna finish this really quickly by um, splashing my face with cold water so that the pores in my face are closed. Face splashed. And then again I'm going to pat dry my face. Uh, except for my eye. <laughs> I never pat dry my eyebrow. I always rub that dry. Okay. is like stuff that I do before I go live with my makeup I like to make sure I'm working with a clean surface which is always a good idea because if you wash your face before you do your makeup and you wash your face at night after you've worn your makeup it helps to prevent breakouts like what I get and I get pretty bad breakouts let's go ahead and turn this light on so now I'm just going to put this stuff back over here and grab my moisturizers. Alright, the hydrating day cream. Alright, we're good. Sit down at my desk. And put that down. Right. There we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. 
Okay, so. There you go for the. So now I'm going to use my hydrating day cream with SPF 20 in it. Keep my skin hydrated throughout the day, even under my makeup. Now, if I don't plan on, um, if I don't plan on doing like a full face of makeup, that's when I'll wear the hydrating day cream, which is a. Uh, Oh, so because it has SPF 20 in it, if I'm not going to do a full face of makeup, this is what I will use. Um, if I do a full face of makeup now, because before I would use this even if I did a full face, but now if I do a full face, I'll just use my Divine Daily, and then when I'm done with my makeup, I'll use the new setting powder that has SPF 25 in it, and I'll put that over my makeup, and that will protect my face. So either way, I got a plan. I got a game plan for protecting my face from the sun because my face likes to fry. Well, my skin, anyway. So then for um, under eye, like, I don't know if you can really tell, but I got like some, like right here in the corner, you might be able to see a little bit of baggage here. So I like to use my instant lifting serum. And for that, I want my actual mirror mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing and not just pretend like I can see it. So I'm going to get out, there we go, one little pump. I'm going to dab that along the bag of my under eye. I'm even going to go up a little bit. And the reason I'm dabbing is because I don't want to pull it. Just want to dab it into place so that when the serum dries, it's actually going to um, tighten the skin and get rid of those under eye bags that we all know and love so much. Yeah, I'm just going to let that dry and do its thing. And you can actually feel it as it's tightening the skin. So that is awesome. All right. So that is my pre-makeup stuff. I'm going to wait a few minutes for, all, for this to finish drying and doing its thing. And then I will be back. Um, probably going to go and eat something. So I say give me about 45 minutes. Close to an hour. And I will be back. Whew, with some makeup for you guys. Yeah. We're gonna have fun, yeah. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you later.